We are back with more of My Southern Home, and I'm here with Jacob Marcier with Remax Realty. And Jacob, you have taken us to this beautiful, I want to say majestic home in downtown New Albany. We're just a little bit off of what they call Mansion Row here. Tell us a little bit about the home that we're in. You're right. This is a stunning home. It's actually one of my favorite listings in my eight years in real estate. Uh, this home, the main home, has oh, just under 5,000 square feet of living space uh, with five bedrooms, two full baths. We also have a carriage house on the property, which offers another 750 square feet of living space with a one bedroom, one bath, and its own kitchen, um, and space for two cars to park on the first level of that carriage house. The lot itself is over an acre, so you've got kind of your own oasis here tucked just behind Mansion Row and East Main Street. This house is over 150 years old, and the way they have it decorated for the holidays makes it even more cozy with the tight rooms and all the little hidden spaces. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's, you know, front and rear parlors. You've got um, living spaces, a full dining room, a kitchen, uh, what they call a pub room, which is actually the owner's favorite room in the home. Um, and that's all on the first level. So there's wonderful sitting spaces to, to, you know, talk with family and friends or to entertain. I mean, this home is an entertainer's dream for sure. And one of the things that the owners did that I love so much is they really tried hard to keep everything to the time period of when the home was built. Absolutely. As you mentioned, the home's over 150 years old. It was built in 1867. There's only been three family owners since that time. And so when the current owners picked it up in the mid 90s, they really wanted to restore it to maintain and capture the life of that period when it was originally built. So, you know, we're, we're a historic home for sure. We are not governed by any preservation rules or guidelines, but they, it was important to them personally to keep it period. So we've got things like all the modern conveniences, updated plumbing, updated electric, you know, things that people want, but it's also just got the original character and charm. The staircase is extremely handsome. You have the built-ins in the kitchen. Tell me some of the things that they did specifically for this home to take it back to its original time period of when it was built. For example, you know, they updated all the electric, like I mentioned, so it's uh, modern electric, but you'll notice on some of these switch plates, they kept the roll dials to actually turn them on and off. So they really had an attention to that type of detail in their restoration. Um, but it was pretty much redone inside and out. You'll notice that all of the interior walls have been updated. They have uh, on the exterior tuck pointed and redone the cornice work and the box gutters and the roof. Um, so you'll notice those hints of charm here and there throughout the house. Tell us about the kitchen. The kitchen is incredible. <laughs> the, uh, the, where the kitchen is currently, they believe, dates back to 1820, when uh, the first person on this site had a very small, modest home on the property. They were actually trying to establish Providence, Indiana, which later got absorbed into New Albany. Um, but that little house stood where the kitchen currently is, they believe. And um, <clears throat> in 1867, they either added on or started over, but that foundation is, is likely still there. The copper backsplash that mm -hmm. they have behind the stove is gorgeous. It is, and um, they really created that kitchen space. Um, the kitchen, if you look at it, you'll notice just that corner part is built in. The other pieces in the kitchen are all furniture pieces that they've tailored and customized for those spaces, and they really did a wonderful job. There's a beautiful merchant's table that they use in, as an island. Um, the large piece that, that is opposite the corner table is um, you know, custom fitted for the vents, and so there's heating and cooling in the space too. Jacob, the lower level bath with the marble and the lion crest on it is absolutely stunning. It is, and they, you know, they piece together that bath as well. You'll also notice in that bathroom that the vanity is an old buffet. There's so many special pieces that they added to this home. It's really hard to talk about all of them. Yes, every time I'm in this home, I find something else that is just unbelievable or, you know, something, a conversation piece for sure. So they've collected things from all over the world in their travels and they've, you know, this has been their family home. This wasn't a flip job for them. It wasn't, you know, 
Um, it was it was a labor of love, but they lo they've loved living here with their family, and they've been here over twenty some years. So. And New Albany has changed so much since they moved here. The nightlife downtown, the amazing restaurants. There's really a lot of entertainment in New Albany, and you're so close to it with this home. Yes, I would encourage anyone who has not been to downtown New Albany recently uh, to visit and, and spend some time there. It's incredible. And they, the owners have loved being that close. You know, we're less than a mile from that uh, energy and activity that's going on in downtown New Albany. Um, so they love being that close, but they also love having this kind of oasis uh, to, their, to themselves. And it certainly is an oasis because it's tucked behind Mansion Road. It is, and you've got, you know, like I mentioned, over an acre of, uh, of property here to work with. So um, m much of the um, property line is, is lined with trees, uh, and so you really do feel like you're in your own space and have your own space to relax and entertain. So what's the price point of this home, Jacob? We're listed now at 435000 Thank you so <laughs> much, Jacob. We really appreciate you joining us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate you all being here. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.